Tita Biso, I mean, the last time we spoke to you. Kasi. Yeah, let's go. Tabiso, um, the last time I spoke to you was just before your first ever Soweto derby. Um, in that period, you were doing really well for the club. You went injury out of the team for a while. Now you're back in. Just that period of instability there, um, what really happened uh, behind the scenes? Uh, well, you know, injury played a, a huge role, you know, in my in my development, you know, and especially this season. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to fixing that next season. You know, I know what I have to work on. I know my weaknesses. And behind the scenes, you know, I've been working with uh, with our physios. You know, the rehab team. They've been helping me a lot. You know, physically, mentally. You know. So so I'm pretty sure that next season, coming to the next season, I'll be much better. You're a winning team now uh, within uh, Pirates and then you've been, like like you said, slowly getting back into action. Um, what has it been like watching the team doing well and uh, uh, going on some unbeaten streaks and now uh, to the final? What has it been like for you knowing that you will be coming back into a team that has been doing well? Well, it's been, it's been heartwarming actually, you know, because here in the Orlando Pirates football team, we are more of brotherhood, you know, we are united, you know, and we support one another. So I was quite happy to see the team winning, you know, and doing well, and knowing that the competition is quite becoming uh, difficult, you know. You can't just come in and walk in and just play. You need to earn your spot and you need to work hard for that. I'm just going to go in and throw something off, of course. Um, your, your teammate um, is now playing in Europe. Uh, I mean, we, we, we all know that you grew up with him here and now he's doing things, he's all there and we saw your former coach or your childhood coach uh, going there to wish him well. Um, what does it all say to you and how much have you spoken to uh, the young man knowing that you guys were tied from development growing up together here? Uh, it's really, I'm really happy for him, you know. Uh, I spoke. I speak to him almost like every week. You know, he video calls me. Even when uh, Coach Palacios was there with him, they video called me with the family, and I was quite happy. You know, and and I'm happy for him and the family. And and for me, that's more of a motivation to say it's possible. You know, nothing is impossible through hard work, dedication, and discipline. You know, you can reach that level. Seeing Lyle there, I know you broke bread together uh, from the days, and, and and looking at him, is it more of a motivation that? <coughs> If he can, so can you? No, definitely. It is a motivation, you know. You can only be motivated by such actions, you know, because he didn't even start, you know, at the top flight, but he started bit by bit, you know, and he is where he is because of his hard work and dedication. And it's not impossible for me also and for anyone else out there, you know. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that in the future. Mm -hmm. As you head back to the Kev Champions League, this is the platform that has also made it possible for the likes of Marshall Lunetsky to be monitored in Europe. Um, are you also, um, besides just going to represent the team, also going with that kind of an approach to it? Well, for now, the main focus is for is in the, the final and then bank, you know, and then once the calf comes, you know, that's when you're going to focus on it. But now I'm focused fully on the net bank cup and I'm looking forward to that. So you're probably one of the role models um, in the club coming from the academy into the first team, coming a regular now. Um, there's a couple of other people on the fringes now, Giba, Atomo. Just um, a word on them and what you've made of them since coming into the first team and just a, maybe some advice for somebody that's been there, gone through the hard yard, struggled and overcame the struggle. It's quite, it's quite good to see the lads coming in, you know, and training with us, and they're training really good, you know, and, and my advice to them is they must just keep humble, you know, and, and stay dedicated and work hard, because when I came here, I remember there was Happy Jelly, he took me under his wing, you know, and he showed me the way, and he showed me the culture, and me being here since I was 12, 11 years old, you know, I've, I've, I've known how to how to handle and all that you know so I feel like he also helped me a lot and and now I feel like it's my responsibility also to help also the MTC side to to when they come the side so I can show them the way and also help um, also asking help from innocent my airline on them yes um, you mentioned a few buzzwords now that you would potentially pass to the, the younger generation. If I were to say that uh, your time with Pirates since being promoted and you know, there's been up and down has been underlined by 
patience. How much would that resonate with you? Very much so. Very much so because I had to be patient. I remember last season again I didn't play a single match, but you know being resilient, you know, and never giving up, you know. I feel like that has played a huge role in my career and it still is gonna play a huge role in my career. And I'm looking forward to the future as well because you know, football as I said is not an individual sport but a team sport also, you know. So once you feel like everything is just crumbling and coming down. Just know that you will come back and never stop giving up and never stop working hard because you never know when your chance comes. And yeah, when you cry, don't cry with both your eyes closed but with one eye closed. Mm -hmm. So when the chance comes, you just grab it and run away with it. Um, what aspects of your game would you say um, under push and very well? Um, really improved and also there's been a focus on from the technical team and also what, how can you describe the impact that is had um, in the overall team this season? Tactically, you know, tactically uh, we've been learning a lot, you know, in terms of positional play, you know, and me being converted into a right back, you know, it was a struggle for me at first, you know, but I'm just getting the hang of it, you know, and all that. And, and, and I want to be the best in my position, you know. I want to excel in the position and I'm willing to work hard, you know. I review my games each and every after, after, after the match and I write my corrections, you know. So, tactically, I feel like that has been the biggest, biggest, biggest move from the coach, you know. And him actually supporting us, you know, and pushing us to be the best we can be. That has been the highlight. Talking about reviewing and, and corrections, I'm sure individually you've done the stuff on the you make of I'm just going to say it's not going to be an easy game, you know, it's not going to be an easy game. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be an easy game and it's really important that we don't be too complacent, you know, we mustn't be too likes going to that game because it's a different ball game, it's a cup final, you know, nerves are going to be there. So we're looking forward. Do you find them cool, pragmatic maybe in the approach? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so, you know, but as I said, we'll see on the day. But now, but <laughs> but now I give too much. <laughs> but, but, but on the day, it means now you're just traveling a few kilometers from your base. The game is in Gauteng. How much of that matters to you that you're not flying and going to, the, to, to a different crowd and atmosphere and all of that, but everything is done around your province? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of good side for us, you know, because, you know, we, have, we won't be having to travel long distances. But at the same time, that shouldn't play a psychology, psychological uh, mind games on us, you know. We shouldn't be too lax, as I said. You know, we're looking forward to the game, as I said, and we must do our best. And how important is the issue of the fact you saw with Samba, so they didn't win the match, but the stadium was packed, and how important would it be for the Baganias to, to, to make their team down to Kotore? It would be really important because they are our 11th man on the field, you know, and we really be, they're really behind us, you know, and we also love them also, so we encourage them to come and support us.